You know, now that I think about it, there are a lot of similarities between the New York Yankees and Kendrick Lamar. We keep dropping hits. We are embarrassing our arch rivals. We are completely and utterly decimating them to the point where no one wants to be associated with them. But it's kind of unfair for me to compare the Houston Astros and Drake. The Houston Astros are not from Canada. What another beatdown tonight by the New York Yankees for the second night in a row. They light up the Astros. They didn't score 10 tonight, but it was enough to win this game here. Just put the absolute topper on an almost perfect night. The only thing that kind of went wrong was that during the game, Jalen Brunson uh, had a foot injury, but it looks like he's going to be out for the second half, so all is forgiven there. The night actually did go about as planned. It started from early on. It was much like yesterday. Astros take the lead early, and the Yankees just took the lead back in the first inning and never gave it up. Only mistake that Rodon had all night was the Kyle Tucker home run. From then on, he was terrific. Six and a third, seven hits, two earned runs, no walks. That's the most important stat for Rodon tonight. No walks. It would be perfect if it was no walks and no home runs, but he did give up, did give up the one. Seven strikeouts. His ERA is 3.56, and his whip is 1.26. He continues to bounce. The Carlos Rodon bounce back is real, and it is spectacular. He continues to improve here this season, continues to really step up. He's, he's done what he's needed to do in Garrett Cole's absence. He has done what he's needed to do, so props to him on that. He looked like uh, Carlos Rodon in the White Sox there today. That was good. And then the Yankees offense, I think this might be the first time I'll get I have not checked this. I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong. Is this the first time all year that Soto, Judge, and Stanton all hit home runs? If that's the case, then that's... I used to pray for times like these. If we got all three of those guys hitting home runs in the same night, and it started earlier in the night with Soto blasting that one into right field. An epic bat drop, two-run shot. That gave the Yankees a 2-1 lead. That is his ninth home run of the season. And right now, it's hard to see anybody, as long as this man remains healthy, it's hard to see anybody taking this man down for AL MVP. He's plus 210 right now. You have to worry about Bobby Witt and Gunnar Henderson, but right now those two are um, the only ones I feel like that can contend. He's not even Judge right now. Judge is 17-1 to 1 if you want to bet on MVP odds. I don't think he's going to get it, but um, the way it's going right now, those are the only two that contend. Soto right now is on another planet, batting 333. His OPS is 1.017. Truly sensational stuff. Uh, Soto also scored another run there in the second inning. Could have been more if there wasn't some weird miscommunication between Torres and Volpe. That was probably Volpe's fault, but I just want to blame Gleyber Torres anyway because he just seems like he's mostly useless. Uh, another another no-hit night for him. Fantastic. Solo shot from Judge in the third inning. That made it 4-1. Later on in the inning, Stanton with the hardest hit ball of the season. I think he's, I think yesterday he set the record, and then he set it again today. The man continues to rewrite history and, and records in regards to fastest balls, the way he hits balls, how hard the balls are. You can clip that out of context. I know it's going to come back to bite me in the future. The way he hits baseballs, no one else can do it. We've remarked upon it, but no one else can do it like him. It is a special, special skill this man has. And he showed it again. It was an absolute bullet to left field. You just want to go, oh my gosh, Stanton, this man has a family. Like, wow, 119 miles an hour off the bat. And the Yankees were pretty good from there. Uh, they tacked on a couple more runs in the sixth inning. An RBI ground out from Soto because it always is. And then a two-run double from Aaron Judge. That made it 8-1. Jake Myers had a triple to make it 8-2. Uh, there wasn't really anything else to happen. You did have um, a Glaber Torres. Glaber did make a great defensive play to nab John Singleton in the top of the sixth. That was uh, pretty cool to see. You also saw, saw a home run from Jeremy Pena in the eighth inning. That made it 8-3. Volpe, great diving stop. Of Jordan Alvarez. That was impressive. But yeah, those are the highlights of this game here. You really look at the top three guys in the lineup today. The top three in the lineup, Volpe, Soto, and Judge, as of right now, went seven for 13, including Soto and Judge both having three hit games. But Soto was the MVP because he got the five RBIs, including the home run that put us out um, at the beginning of the game. As I mentioned, the home run from Stanton, hit from Rizzo, and two hits today from Austin Wells. Two doubles, and one of them that should have been, maybe even should have scored somebody if it wasn't for a fan. Interfering, it was a young kid. Um, but it was funny, the young kid uh, grabbing the, the ball while it's still in play, and the fans next to him be like, what are you doing? The kids, it's a little kid. They're just Baseball fans, man, they could just be uh, so crazy at times, especially Yankee fans. That's why I love them. And this was a special performance tonight. This team continues to impress. This team continues 
to be dynamic on the offensive side of the ball. I am hoping, and the pitching continues to hold up, and if the Nationals can beat the Orioles here tonight, it's the top of the 10th right now, game tied at three. If that can hold up, folks, the Yankee, if the Nationals can win this game, the Yankees might have sole possession of first place in the AL East again, and that would be a special, special sight to see. But what a fantastic night. Another night that just makes you really impressed with this team. Another night that makes you think about October. Another night that makes you think. I know I had some people say, oh, you, you know, I actually had some people, usually if you if you follow my channel, you know I'm the, I'm the, nepot I'm the not nepotist, nihilistic, nihilistic type when it comes to the Yankees. But the last couple days, and any game against the Astros that made me think, maybe there's something special here. And I know the Astros have been bad this year to start off. But every time I see them just walk the, the Astros like that, I'm starting to think, you know, is there anyone else that can beat us right now? Especially if we get Cole back and Judge really starts. And Judge is starting to heat up. Folks, get ready. Judge is starting to heat up. Judge is starting to look good. That home run he hit in the third inning, that's a, the same kind of hit that he would have struck out on or he would have fouled one off. His timing it seems like it is getting better. It is getting back to the Judge of old. Maybe Judge has something here. The only guy who had a bad night uh, on the offensive side was Verdugo. But I had a couple people pointing out to me, you know, it's still too early. Like you, you know, there's still a lot of issues with the team, and there are. But when you see this team pull off a performance like this, when you see them take on their arch rivals and demolish them again, that's nine straight victories against the Astros. And yes, I get it; it's a shell of an Astros team right now. But when you see them win nine straight games against the Astros, when you see us having arguably the best player in all the American League. One of the two or three best players in baseball right now. You can put him up there with Mookie and Shohei. When you see him performing like that, it just makes you sit there and think, like, maybe, just maybe, this could be the kind of year where something special happens. Could be wrong. I probably will be wrong. This team will probably break my heart in the end. But when I see a night like this, it just makes you feel hopeful. It just makes you feel optimistic. And I'm so very proud of this team. Proud of the way we've bounced back after the disgraceful Orioles series. That was a, 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 a disgrace. Don't do that again. They've come back in a big way, Super Detroit, and now the, uh, it wasn't Detroit, it was the, was it the I can't remember, was it, did we beat Detroit well, on Sunday? I can't remember now. I'm already, I'm already so old, I can't remember who, who we played on Sunday, this is embarrassing for me. Yes, we beat the, yes, the Tigers, excuse me, yes, we beat Detroit, and then this, the two out of three here against Houston, that's five wins in a row, that's nine wins against the Astros consecutively, going back to last season, it makes you feel hopeful, it makes you feel optimistic proud of this team and let's keep it up tomorrow the Yankees go for the sweep it's 505 I don't know why it's 505 maybe for the Astros to get back early Marcus Stroman on the mound against Ronald Blanco could be an exciting matchup and maybe just maybe the Yankees will get their 26th win of the year that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching if you're interested in to see make sure you subscribe down below I'll be back tomorrow Yankees Astros game three tune in for that take care and God bless